I've been planning to make the green man ceiling rose for years. Well, coronavirus lockdown and everything, perfect opportunity. With getting older materials pretty tricky in lockdown, I've done it the cheap old fashioned way instead of using modern flexible mould materials. The artistic bit is the clay pattern. Starting with a base made with a radial form and we stick the elements on and carefully mould the edges so there's a good rake angle. All the modelling done, let it harden off for a couple of days till it gets leather hard and then we can start polishing it up and getting rid of any little imperfections. Uh, Got to get this done and get the mould made. All polished up, checked it for any overhangs or undercuts so it should come out of the mould okay. Yeah, we're ready for casting the mould. Plaster of Paris, water in the bucket, gently sprinkle it in. You can measure your amounts out, but once you've done it a few times, you get to see how much you need. You want just a few peaks of the plaster sticking up over the water level, and that gives you about one to three ratio to get the longest work time we can cold water and to actually limit the amount of mixing that we do try not to entrain air into it just to get the consistency all the way through it no lumps you can see i've sealed the edge of the model up with some polythene right here we go Second layer, Hessian scrimmini. Left it overnight to harden up, so now should be ready for demoulding. No release agent between the clay and the plaster of Paris. Idea being the wet in the plaster of Paris will soften up the clay underneath, so there's nothing for it to bond onto. We'll try these holes, and this should help release the middle. That's shifting. It's also blowing out these other holes. I can feel it lifting up. <sighs> and we're off. Beautiful. Just one little bit where I put the hole in that I've got to repair on the mould. few little bits that uh, caught but they're easy enough to pick out. Now I've got to clean the clay off from the inside. Do a bit of me remodelling particularly because I forgot to cut the irises out of the model so I'll have to do those in the mould instead. Looking good. I did a lot of experimenting to come up with a non-commercial release agent for plaster to plaster. If you want to know more leave us a comment and I'll put the full videos up for you. But this is the result. So I think that settles it. We'll be going for the 
two coats of shellac and then the dry lube. After the experiments are done, I'm giving it a good soaking with shellac sanding sealer that's been thinned down and that'll make a, a base coat. Second coat of shellac and it's starting to get a sheen on it. I seal up these release holes with a bit of plasticine. Right, the big pour. This is going to be about 10 litres. So I've got about six and a quarter litres of, of water. Enforcement in it. First cast came out. Learned a few things from that. One, make sure you've got plenty space on your memory card when you're videoing it. Main points, needs demoulding before it starts the crystallisation phase of setting where the plaster expands slightly. So it was a bit of a chore to get it out, but it's come out and it's fine. And there are a couple of little areas where it didn't release and it snapped bits off. So I can just modify the mould, reseal it and go for another one. So after a few minutes it gets into the plastic phase of the setting which is where it's still able to manipulate it. It's just starting to warm up so it's going into the crystallisation stage where the exothermic reaction starts warming it. But that's also when it expands, so we want to try and get it out of the mould before it gets to that point. Fingers crossed we get a good release. Let's try this. It's gone! Absolutely perfect! After drying it out over a few days. Scary bit, fitting it. And to make it a little easier, I've got a little toggle hanging down. That should just support the weight. Now with a couple of fat washers on it. And screw that through onto the joist. Just left a gap around there that I can put some corking around and then tighten it up. A couple of extra screws just to make sure. Again, going into the joist. I made three off that mould, could have made more but I've got one for the dining room, one for the living room and one spare in case I want to make a, a more commercial kind of mould if anyone wants to buy one in the future.